हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते इन टुडे स्टोरी सेशन टेल विद अ ट्विस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ स्टोरी ऑफ द टॉकेटिव टॉटॉइस लेट्स हियर दिस स्टोरी एंड सी व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन वी लूज आर कंट्रोल हियरिंग व्हाट अदर्स आर टेलिंग वंस अपॉन अ टाइम little long ago in a small town there was a big pond in that pond there lived a tortoise near the pond there was a stork that lived and had become friends with the tortoise they both enjoyed talking to each other whole day tortoise was more talkative and would tell lots of stories to the stork about the fishes in the pond and the stork was happy living there because there was enough food in the pond for both of them to live slowly the people started cutting off the trees big houses came up in the town and the green trees were cut off with all the trees gone the rains became less there were many years when there was no rain or very little rain and the pond started drying up the pond which was once filled with water had become dry and all the fishes in the pond had died now there was no food for the stork and the tortoise to live there one day stork told dear friend i am thinking of leaving this place and flying to some other place where i can find food and green trees to live the tortoise was very sad tortoise started crying i know you can fly and go away but what i will do i have no place to go i cannot fly and leave this place also it's okay friend you go i will wait here and see what is in my fate now the stork felt very bad how can i leave my friend in a place where there is no food no water no trees no rain stork said don't worry friend just give me some time i will think of a way to help you the stork flew and reached to its friend and they both discussed and spoke something and came back again to the tortoise the stork said dear friend me and my friend will hold a stick in our beaks and you hold this stick from the middle we will fly and take you along with us to a safer place the tortoise was very happy but the tortoise was scared what if i will fall down the stork said don't worry don't get scared just remember not to open your mouth and talk if you will not open your mouth you will be safe and we will reach to a safer place the tortoise jumped and caught the stick in its mouth and the storks started flying they flew over the hills they flew over the valley they flew over the rivers to reach to a safer place once they were crossing a village the people in the village saw the storks flying with the tortoise holding the stick and the people started laughing the children started clapping and jumping look look a tortoise is holding the stick and flying look how funny it is in the sky 
hearing them clap and laugh, the tortoise felt very angry. And tortoise wanted to shout on them. So what the tortoise did? The tortoise opened its mouth to scold them and shout. And the moment the tortoise opened its mouth, the tortoise fell down and the stokes had to leave and go away. So, are you like the stoke who never leave their friends in need and always think of ways to help their friends? Or you behave like a tortoise. The tortoise knew that if tortoise will open its mouth, it can fall down. But what happened? The moment tortoise heard other children and people clapping and laughing, what the tortoise did? Tortoise lost control. Tortoise forgot that opening the mouth is not good for the tortoise at this time. And the tortoise fell down. Do you also scream and shout just because someone else is laughing? Do you leave your work because someone else is telling something? Do you tell? Now I am not going to do this work because that person spoke wrong or that child laughed at me or they will not like if I will do this. Do you get scared when you are presenting something in class or on stage and run away from the stage or refuse to try again because someone you think will be laughing on you? No, we don't need to stop our work. We don't need to leave our work just because someone else is laughing or someone else is making fun or someone else is not liking it. We know what is good for us. We know what is important for us. So we need to complete our work and focus on our work.